what's going on everybody all right make sure everything is working um decided to start up the a uh, little bit early we got a couple different things going on so i want to make sure that everything is working uh let's take a look at our teams tonight uh before we got a few minutes still to start time um let's see so teams tonight we have and let me not and you guys let me know if the uh mic is good as you guys can see it got the brand new hyper x quadcast mic uh, a couple other additions to the desk i can't show on stream uh just not possible but we got uh me seeks nvidia me seeks pride euphoria outcast alpha aurora shredded sexy squad aerial esports just for fun execute esports uh bahala mad the woo be wishes black sheep jupiter esports Team P Noise Toxic, Team P Noise uh, Zanagi, Fortune Esports White, Fortune Esports Nameless Esports EXP, and rounding off is Gambit uh, Gaming. Uh, so I said we're just waiting a few more minutes so the room gets started. Looks like we already at seventy-five uh, people in the lobby. Uh, so this is going to be. Um, it looks like a pretty sweaty lobby tonight as usual um, If I didn't get to see you guys last week, I was away. So happy New Year's I uh, hope everybody's having a great start Obviously, you know a couple of things are going on in the world, but we're not gonna talk about that. Why because Just don't want to <laughs> um, Also, I said I also wanted to uh, create this so that I can uh, speak to you guys even though we are about three minutes behind um, so you guys won't really won't be able to uh, interact with me in live time. But still, hey, listen, man, close enough, close enough. Say just a few more minutes. If you hear that clicking, that is my new HyperX Alloy RGB keyboard. How was your guys uh, New Year's? Let me know in the chat. Just about to start in a few. If you guys see above, actually, we could probably just scroll through some of the team. I said we are at 74 uh, people currently. Uh, to my upper left, you see the information. Um, of the uh of the of the scrim sorry got a couple things going on at the same time all right so it looks like we are ready to go Mic is good. Awesome, awesome. I was wondering. Like I said it's a brand new mic, so uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, get it fine tuned just yet. So I'm glad that that's working. All right, so here we go. We are ready. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but.
all right all right so i said i already went through the teams um we will have more teams later there i think there are a couple teams missing but they are participating in um other scrims so we'll give them an opportunity uh game two should be a more uh, full lobby all right all right what's up no grace thank you for joining the channel uh, i hope the volume is good so yeah, i'm still guys i'm still trying to get used to everything how's the volume of the of the actual stream these are a new set of headsets as well got hyper x mixes i'll see how these work out if i don't like them completely i'll have to switch to something else Let's take a look to see if last week's winners are in the lobby. Oh, well, while I do that. So the plane path is pretty, I want to say, east. Um, I mean, it's still, jumpable, it's still jumpable for uh, Giorgio and uh, Hospital. We'll, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to see if I can get last week's winners to see if they are in tonight's lobby. And it was uh, one of the P-Noise teams, so we'll, we'll get eyes on them. I'm not sure which one it was. I'll follow this one. This look at this P-Noise team. Might be jumping. Oh, let's see. Probably Pachinki, maybe? Looks like it's a pretty well split uh, right now. Actually, yeah, maybe towards school. Actually, looks like they're going to be maybe catching a vehicle and moving more to the west. Still yet to see. Then he had a part is nameless e force looks like they are taking some shots already oh, looks like we got a little bit of lag so we got cloud on top of the uh, roof taking shots over onto one of the members of just for fun all right looks like the lag just fixed itself so we're good now and right, now we'll pull up the map so that you guys can uh can see how the where the teams have rotated. I mean, sorry, where they have landed. And it looks like the map is gonna go northeast. It looks like we're gonna have to switch over to Yaz. No, is that Pachinki? You know, we're we're going to Pachinki. We got Black Sheep and the Wu. Looks like Goon is already out. Uh, Pain took him out. We got Trick, Jonica. Payne and Kurtz. And for Black Sheep, we got Not Bad Styles Ultra. team for now is going to uh, get too aggressive even though styles is a little separated right now i don't think he's he thinks he's gonna have to wait uh for him to come save him but looks like he's getting some nades uh chucked over at him so not looking good right now for black sheep um as styles doesn't like he's going to be a uh, re resible if he gets knocked And in Razak, looks like we got two teams. We got, looks like this is Sexy Squad and Just For Fun. Hax gets a knock onto Fish. And Fish gets thirsted as well.
looks like i did see and the kill fee styles did get knocked and uh thirsted so that is going to be uh black sheep down to two players already super early uh not a good start for them looks like stella got a knock onto lonely moods Looks like uh might give them a chance. It looks like they're gonna throw some smokes down uh and push over to uh Stella possibly or Stella's gonna come over to them because they uh Stella is a little separated from her team. Lonely Moods gets picked up by Hacks. Now um back to a 3v4 in favor of just for fun. Let's look at the word that uh, everybody else is doing on the map. A couple, a lot of the teams are spread out. We do got two teams in military, which we don't normally see too often. And it looks like the Wu are putting in work. And the last member up. Oh, they didn't switch over. Looks like the last member is not vet. Gets a knockout to trick, but. Kane is there to finish and Black Sheep go out in 20th place. Uh, not a great start for that team. A team that usually when they show up, they do uh, put in some work. Uh, but first game, they go out early. Uh, and speak of military base, we got Team P Noise. This is team 21 says P Noise and Zogni, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Gabby in the chat says, go to Team 16, he wishes. I will try to keep eyes on them. Look, do, do we have both? That's Team 21. How's the uh, game sound? Game sound good. Just want to make sure everything is working. Like I said, it's uh, got some new equipment. Uh, thank you to HyperX and Galaxy Hound for sponsoring the stream tonight. As you guys can see, got myself a brand new microphone, which I am super happy about. And oddly enough, the other Enoy's team is in a fight with the other Fortune team. I mean, you don't really see this too often, so this is kind of interesting. The old boy looks like he got a knock on to Ushaya of Fortune Esports. I think this is Fortune Esports main. Ooh, Tunita with a drop shot. Oh, but this is now knocked as well Yoshi the last man looks like he's gonna full nope and it looks like he's gonna turn around and say nope not tonight So Yoshi is not looking good for the two Fortune Esports team as both teams. Actually, no, this team still has three players up. And in uh, north of George, of north of Crazy the Apartments, we got Gambit Gaming and Team EXP. Looks like Rolex is going to be taken out and and the kill feed i just seen that sexy squad got taken out by just for fun they go out in 19th place uh for gambit gaming we got persian chapo thotty and steel i think this is a, a newer team i don't think i've seen this team um participate but then again uh, i had missed uh, a couple weeks here and there 
up the map as we have a zone that is starting to close. And listen up guys, we have four matches, you know, um, if you go out super early, you still have a chance. Listen, kills are worth five points. Um, that makes a huge difference. So if your team's one of those fragging teams like to take chances, there is still a chance for you guys to make it. As you guys all know, we do have UC prizes for the uh, winning team and for the top fragger. Plenty of opportunity, guys, to uh, get your hands on some free UC. We also have uh, boosted loot. As we love to see all those engagements. Looks like teams are heavily focused around the Razak school area as they start to now uh, make their rotations. Here we have Meeseek's uh, Pride who are just outside of Ruins. We have Batman, Mello, Beanhead, and Atari. And in the distance, we have Team 16. I, if I'm not mistaken, this is Team B Wishes. We, uh, Jiggy and Ranix Vengeance are both out. Now down to just Demon and Poppy Rocket. Alright, thank you, No Grace. I appreciate it. So with the zone shifting, it moves uh, towards the center way, uh, was pretty north, but not anymore. There we go. Still one team at school. Nobody had apartments, which is surprising, but maybe now with the, uh, with the zone uh, shifting, we'll probably see some team move over there. Um, for, uh, we got the two teams, our military base. Now rotating into zone. George of North of Crazy the apartment. That there we go. Sorry guys, a little distracted. Like I said we got a couple of things going on in the background. Alright, so it looks like team 12, which is execute, may possibly be rotating in towards Razak, maybe not. Alpha Knight for Aerial Esports now is the last man up. He's got four uh, P Noise members. Uh, gonna want to hunt him down. See if he's able to stay alive. He's got some gas cans that he's dropping. Right now, the objective for uh, Alpha Knight is just to stay alive. That's all he's got to do is just stay alive. Don't got to do nothing cute, nothing fancy. Just stay alive. The solo for uh, Me Seeks NVIDIA. So listen, guys. We normally don't allow solos or duos. Or if we do, um, they don't get priority over um, other teams. But... We were informed that the rest of the team is actually participating in another scrim. They will be available game two. Just want to give some information because I know uh, lately the lobbies have been really filling up. We've had a lot of waitlist teams and we just want to make sure that uh, we are being fair to all teams. So in case anybody wants to know why we have a solo, it's because the rest of the team has informed staff that they will be available for game two. 
even with 18 teams, man, these teams are really spread out still. Looks like we got the Wu who have themselves a drop. This is Team 5 Euphoria. Get a knock onto Team 11. I think that is. So Wubs got knocked. I didn't see by who. I think it was Prince. Yeah, Prince is rocking the car 98. That's what I did see. to close again. We got some love for B wishes. Uh, Gabby says, Poppy Rocket OP. I love you, Senpai. Prince is looking for another head to take off. Let's see if we can catch him. Give me a clip. Also, guys, make sure you guys follow the socials on Twitter and Instagram at MeSeeksMobileGo. Uh, we do try to get out as much content as possible. Make sure you hit the follow button. We are doing HyperX giveaways. I think currently there is a alloy keyboard. Let's see if I can get this on stream without disturbing anything. Right now, I got it lit up, you know, with the uh, gold and golden orange, you know, golden boy colors. We are giving one of these away on Twitter, so make sure you are following the uh, Twitter to participate in that giveaway. Again, that is at Mises Mobile Go. Look at the zone shift. Look at the 18 teams and centralized around Pachinki. All of Pachinki. I think Pachinki is about to get hot, or at least I hope so. Um, sometimes teams do a little pay. Listen, when there is a prize on the line, I find it that teams do play a little bit more... Um, I guess passive would be the word. So we're hoping that they don't play passive and that they actually play aggressive. Now let's take a look at these rotations as the team start to rotate in. Wonder how many teams are going to storm the Chinky. Oh, looks like T-Max finally got taken out. They go out in 18th place. Looks like that was from uh, Execute Esports. We have Glizzy, Wizard, Hack X, and uh, Wick. I don't think this is a, a, a genuine, authentic Execute Esports team as the tags are different. Still taking a look at. Ooh, Glizzy. With that SLR. I don't know. I never really used that, so I didn't realize that the uh, SLR was that OP. But execute's gotta be careful because they actually no, they got one player who is uh, holding off their backside just in case they do decide to get uh, pushed. Yeah, Jupiter Esports. Rotated by Team 16, did not take any damage. We got Potato, Dylan, I Love You, and Senpai. Looks like they're going to take this uh, small compound just outside of, of uh, Pachinki. And looks like the team Nameless Esports have pushed up onto uh, Euphoria. Yeah, Euphoria is super aggressive. They got a couple of knocks now. 
But uh, Prince does pay the price, does get knocked. Oh, and that is it. Baymax from Nameless, the last player, just went into the smoke. And then this goes out in 16th place. And there is a red zone, so all these teams are hard looting up. Uh, you better be careful with that red zone. Look at this zone shift. Still got tons of Pachinki in zone. So you don't want to get knocked to the red zone, that's for sure. Breezy rotating right into the other key noise team. Let's see if uh, how they how these teams just take this engagement here. Oh, but Doughboy gets a knock on to Sad Boy. The second nade takes some more damage out, and uh, it's not looking good as Breezy is all by himself. I'm not sure if. Uh, the last member, which is Zest, is going to be able to come over to help out at all. Breezy almost gets a knock out to catch up. So Zest comes over, provides some cover, gets a knock out to catch up. Uh, it's going to give an opportunity for Breezy to get the res onto Sad Boy. And the kill looks like B-Wish just goes out in 15th place to the hands of the Wu. As the teams, it looks like they decided to head over onto Pachinki. Looks like this uh, P-Noise team is going to get out. Going to prioritize rotating into a zone, which is not a bad move. Oh, Yoshi, poor Yoshi, the last man out for Fortune Esports, the main team. Let's take a look at the zone shift as uh, the, oh my god, the zone completely going away from Pachiki out into the open. Oh, no switch. And just like that, we lose about three or four teams. Euphoria looks like they're pinned at that warehouse. Just for fun here in an engagement with uh, Me Seeks Pride. Mello is the last one up. Let's see if Mello can uh, do something here against uh, Just for Fun. Almost gets a knock on Hacks, but they're getting a third party. So this might give Mello a chance to stay alive here. Looks like Hacks may be trying to get the uh, res onto Wubs. Now down to 10 teams, 33 alive. Euphoria uh, did make it out of the warehouse. They have pushed up onto uh, just for fun. Oh, Melo finally gets taken out. Wubs gets knocked again. Uh, from Gambit Gaming, who have, who it looks like they have uh, rotated in from Pachinki.
now with open zone like this, uh, it seems they're going to uh, start to use their vehicles for cover, take out tires, which is honestly the only play with um, with the way the zone is. Mad Esports are going to be pushing up onto the Wu. We got Ghost who is now starting to chuck some needs. Unsuccessful, not able to get it. Getting knocked by by and the kill feed is going off right now. And again, look at this zone. This zone is so toxic, so toxic right now. Um, these teams who have now used their vehicles for cover, taken out the uh, tires, now don't have a vehicle to rotate with. Trick is doing some work, does get knocked. He's gonna need pain to hold off as he gets rezzed. It looks like pain is gonna prioritize. Uh, maybe, yep, he is gonna prioritize getting into zone. Let's see what kind of spot they're able to get. Like I said, the zone is not really offering much. Actually, not a bad spot right here. With the cover. Some of these teams are going to die to zone right now. Down to six teams. And just not a good spot right now for Snippy. The Wu have found themselves in probably the best position, to be honest. Uh, with those rocks and vehicles. The two members for Euphoria are spread out. With third, I mean the Wu man. These man, when you see Trick, man, Trick gets into like, super aggressive. Uh, Snebby gets a knock onto Pain. Euphoria, a trio down to four teams. We got. Euphoria, Execute Esports, The Wu, and uh, P Noise. I think this is P, P Noise Toxic. Trick getting a knock onto Hacks. Looks like Trick going with the aggressive play, trying to gatekeep Team 12. And Wizard able to stay alive, barely did take off the, uh, the uh, book bag here. And right now, the team that looks like it's in control is the Wu, who are now up to 15 uh, kills. Wizard finishes off bright now down to three teams. Uh pain is knocked. There are no more there are no longer any smokes. These teams are now in the open. A pain gets thirsted. Mm -hmm. 
Snappy gets knocked by Kurtz. Trick finishes off. It is now a 3v2 in favor of the Wu. Tacos is able to get the res off onto Snebby. So now, um, having even the odds completely, but at least had given them a fighting chance. Jonica getting knocked. Now 2v2. Kurtz getting the knock. Oh, Kurtz. Who is this guy? Oh, my God. What a play by Kurtz. Kurtz. Hey, listen, man. He got the two most important kills. Doesn't matter that he ended the match with only two kills. He got the two most important kills. And uh, that's what matters. Super aggressive there. I mean, he only got down to about 20% health. But he did get the last player. And the Woo taking game one. With, let's see, 12, 16, 18 kills. What a way to start the night for the Wu. Absolutely OP from this team. You guys, as you guys already know, Trick, he comes out to frag. The guy does not play any games. But in second, we have Euphoria with eight kills. A uh, strong game from them. And third, we have Execute with uh, seven. Team P Noise, Izagni. Uh, Gambit Gaming, Just For Fun, Mad, Shredded, Team P Noise, Toxic, Me Seeks Pride, Jupiter Esports, Fortune Esports, White, Aerial Esports, Fortune Esports, B Wishes, EXP, Nameless, Me Seeks, NVIDIA, Sexy Squad, and Black Sheep going out. In last place in the first one. But listen, we still got three more games. You guys already know we're heading over to Vikendi. Uh, we'll see you guys back in a bit.
All right, here we are. I kind of want to start doing this so I can interact with the chat. Wizard PUBG I'm saying those XEQ kids are insane, bro. I uh, never heard of them before. So I think they are. I think what slot they are at XEQ. Team 12, we got Wick, Wizard, Hack X, and Glizzy. Let's take a look at this guy. Listen, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna judge anybody here. Uh, looks like we got four minutes till lobby starts. Let's see if we can get all these teams in. Uh, looks like we're the teams who didn't play game one are gonna play game two. Uh, I expect this lobby to be 80 plus. It looks like that's the direction that we are headed in. Team 13 didn't play game one. That is a Valhalla mixed with some of Cloud 9, it looks like. Let's see who else didn't play game one. I think Outcast Alpha, which is in. Um, still got a few minutes left. Hyper X Alloy RGB keyboard up for grabs. Yes, so Grimity again, guys. I'm gonna see if I can. This is what's up for grabs on the uh, Twitter page. Actually, Twitter and oh, which one am I going? Twitter and uh, uh, Instagram, RGB key, uh, uh, HyperX Alloy FPS RGB keyboard up for grabs. Uh, where is it? Right over here, down there. Let me get my hand back in here. Is the Twitter handle and uh instagram handle and make sure listen stop by the website down uh oh right here down here make sure you stop by the website as well and get to know some of us we got some you know we got staff members on there the website is fully operational um we got some merch uh, and, uh people who have bought merch have it sorry guys too many things going on at one time uh, we got another minute here till lobby starts. I'm definitely not used to the uh, the loud tapping. It is mechanical, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but not used to the uh, the tapping of each key. But listen, I don't mind. I like it. Actually, so listen, guys, we're up to 90 people. 90 people in this lobby. This lobby is about to get super, super sweaty. And we only have one minute left. Uh, we got Justin joining the channel. Says, good luck, Jupiter Esports. Hey, listen, guys. If you already know, if we just average, average, not hit, average 50 viewers, guess what happens to the UC? We double it. So, um, listen, man. Just share the stream. Share the stream with your peoples. <sighs> Looks like we had some random join, not sure from uh from where. But listen guys, for the guys who got the room information, don't share the room information with players who aren't playing. The last thing we want is for people to be joining in and ruining the good time that we can have so let's just go through make sure verify all these slots verify the play looks like we are ready to go if you guys are ready i am ready it is go time we are headed to vakendi Just a second. Here we go. Oh, I see it. 
Let's use just a fire GB break on keyboard up. So, um, like I said, you know, if uh, if you do win the uh, keyboard, make sure you uh, download the HyperX, uh, I think it's Ingenuity um, app software onto your uh, uh, PC or laptop. So, because it is customizable along with the mouse. So if, oh, can I get the mouse up here? Let me see if I can uh, do some maneuvering here. I got the mouse as well. The mouse is customizable as well. Different uh, patterns or uh, effects to customize it. And lots of good stuff, man. I'm, I appreciate HyperX for the care package as the entire casting team uh, received the uh, care package. If you guys didn't already see, I did uh, do an unboxing video on um, posted on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure you guys go check it out to see exactly what we received. Uh, but here we go. Let's see. Oh, actually, I gotta reset this. Oh, uh, looks like this ain't working. Give me one second. See if we get that up. The map looks like the map isn't uh displaying currently. Uh, there we go. All right. So the map. Let's say the zone. Uh, the plane path is uh, moving is completely west of the map, but Vikendi is like I said, Vikendi isn't a huge map to begin with, so I don't see these teams having any issues uh, jumping. Let's take a look at the winners from the last round, which was the Wu. They are in Dobro. Looks like they got a couple teams. In one sec. Looks like we got that parachute glitch that happens that uh, you can't hear anything. Trick looks like he's just flying in the air. Let's see if we switch one of the other teams that's close. Alright. Looks like with a 91 man lobby, 23 teams. Looks like we do have a little bit of uh, of lag. Did somebody get taken out already? Yeah, team four. One of their players already taken out. Uh, didn't see by who. Where are we? Oh, we are in. Just outside of coal mine, in between Krikas as well. Let me lower the music a little bit. It's a little too loud. Doom doing some work right now onto Team Sexy Squad. They did lose Grace in the process. <laughs> it looks like Doom is trying to throw uh, <laughs> the uh, pitchfork there. Not not successful though. Doom coming in for the OP plague. Switches to the FPP perspective, and uh, Stella is the last one up for Sexy Squad. Not looking too great for them currently. I think Atari may have an idea of where Stella may be or not, but they do have uh, Team 10 Aerial Esports um, pushing on to them as well. Up oh, this way, there we go. Seeks Nvidia losing two members early. Let's go back over to Dobro with the winners of last game. Kurtz coming in with the clutch at the end, taking out the last two players for Euphoria. They have Team Seven, which is Aurora. 
You have Glitchy, Luxuria, Copy You, and Hendrix. Let me know, guys, how the uh, volume of the music is if it's too loud. Not loud enough. I'll make the adjustments for you guys. So we do have a southern zone. Um, the uh, the zones of a candy are always really weird, the way that they shift. At least in my opinion. The uh, zone shifts are really drastic. Looks like this is going a little stale. Let's get eyes on... Uh, Got some fan favorites in the chat. We got Jiggy, Poppy Rocket, Demon, and Ranix Vengeance. Ranix Vengeance getting a knock. Looks like with the uh, VSS. Oh, but Ranix Vengeance gets caught rotating in the open. He's always going to get the finish. Here comes Jiggy and Poppy Rocket. Poppy Rocket didn't see Breezo behind the wall. Now it's up to Demon and Jiggy. Looks like Demon is going to hold the top spot. Jiggy better be careful. He's going to have Stark jump right on top of him. Oh, nope, maybe not. I mean, that would have been a nice play. Diggy trying to get some information onto uh, EXP. Uh, like I said neither team gonna make a move yet. I mean, they are down two members. Is B wishes. Actually, Demon would be the one to get the information uh, over onto Jiggy. Let them know where the players are since he does have the uh, top position. Uh, take some shots from Murderer. Looks like with the ump. No, with the Bison. Sorry. Oh, Demon getting a knock with that uh, VSS. Right now, a perfectly placed nade in that little um, roof balcony. Oh, my God. But sometimes, you know, as a spectator, you see these plays that can be made. But as a player in that moment, you don't really get to you don't really think about it. Oh, Bruto gets a knock out of Jiggy. Uh, didn't see him peek around that corner. And uh, Demon's going to be the last one up for B Wishes. Just for <laughs> Demon is doing work with this VSS, though. Uh, it's not going to go out lightly. So it looks like we've already lost 14. We've lost just for fun. Valhalla went out early. Uh, Sexy Squad and Me Seeks Prize. So we did have a couple teams go out early. Looks like Gambit Gaming did push up onto the backside of this fight. Maybe giving Demon a chance to get out. Yeah, Demon does uh, hit that retreat button, but we do have guys like Gambit, Gambit Gaming pushing up onto the backside of uh, EXP. Both teams are out of zone. Steel did not knock out to Brizo. Oh, looks like Steel did come 
my buttons. Get a little shake. Oh, Stark went for a play. Did not work out. That's an EXP go out in 19th place to Gambit Gaming. Uh, and listen, man. Uh, B wishes has to say thank you to Gambit Gaming. Gave him the opportunity to get out of there. Supposedly these guys are good. That's what somebody said in the chat. So we're going to see uh, if uh, what they can do. I think they got third place last game, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see what happens with uh, Execute. Oh, looks like we got some lag here. Execute looks like they have eyes on the Woo, but uh, nothing yet. Still got 18 teams left. Yeah, I said a couple teams go out super early. These teams are starting to rotate and get in position. Let's take a look at the zone and how it decides to shift. And it continues to go south, and we still got a little bit of the water in zone. Um, the southern portion of the zone is a little bit crowded. Try to give uh, all the teams a little bit of air time here. We got black sheep who are holding this compound just outside of Abbey. And it looks like a uh, demon for B wishes finally goes out. Goes out in 18th place. Got sorted out by Gambit Gaming. Team that I haven't spoken about yet, Shred It. We got Loki, Taha 2K, Asian, and Sarah Wolf. Also, too, if you guys are on Facebook, uh, make sure to follow the uh, Me Seeks Facebook, which is Me Seeks Mobile Go as well. Execute squad uh, pulling up to the top side of Nameless Esports. They are getting a third party. I wonder by who though. Is it Shredder? Is it Loki who's taking shots? Yeah, Loki's taking shots with that SKS. But better be careful because he is out in the open. So, and as I said, it does take some shots. He's going to have to be careful because if he does get knocked, uh, he is more than likely uh, going to get thirsted by the uh, Execute Squad. But looks like they don't like their positioning, so they're gonna hop in a vehicle and get out of there. I mean, I don't honestly, I don't really blame them. I don't really like that spot either. TBH. We got some action north of the zone. We got Fortune and uh, Euphoria here. Euphoria with one member knocked already. Here comes Fortune Esports. White. Star Lord. I mean, you can kiss Star Lord and he'll get knocked right now. Oh, dang, only gets one knock. 
knocked though, but here comes Scar Lord and cleans it up. And Euphoria, who got second place last game, goes down to 16th place. Um, and Fortune Esports White able to uh, survive with all their players. And we have Jupiter Esports who have pushed out the same compound as. Uh, nameless esports, and they're gonna have ex execute uh, right above them. Ball getting a knock onto Senpai, and that is it. Jupiter esports go out in 15th place. Still, all four members up. Looks like Wick has pushed up, so it looks like Execute Esports is going to get a little aggressive here. Oh, Nameless Esports did not see Wick push up onto them. And gets an easy pick right there. With one member down, I wonder if the rest... Yeah, here comes the rest of the Execute squad. Looks like they're going to chuck a bunch of nades to get it. Oh, but Glizzy getting knocked by... By Fall, who dumped the nade. Fall getting another knock. And Fall may do this all by himself. Fall was supposed to be plays right now. Oh, before it finally gets knocked and Cloud is the last one up. I mean, he did hold it down for his teams for just a little bit, but they were not able to uh, completely... Fall was not able to completely clutch it up for his team. It looks like uh, Me Seeks NVIDIA goes out in 14th place. It looks like I just missed it as I got here. Now down to 13 teams. Uh, zone is closing in again. And the zone stays inland away from the water. Leave the map up for a few more seconds to see where these teams decide to uh, start their rotations. Uh, the Wu look like uh, they are in great position right now at the center of the map. Loki, who looks like doesn't have any throwables, should have gotten a, a smoke down there. Would have provided a little bit of cover, but uh, Tree is big enough that he's able to get the res off onto Asian and survive. execute you guys uh playing super aggressive i like it man i think i'll say i don't like it i like aggressive plays so very smart tactic is get a knock and push knock and push which is seem like what is uh what they're going to be doing so, super quiet this game so far is outcast alpha we got jay white sarge and botany <laughs> sorry my bad i meant to say brownie but you know, got a little tongue twisted there. So Wick seems to be doing some work with this uh, M24. Did get another knock onto the Shredded Squad. And they also have uh, Fortune Esports uh, at their backside as well.
those ships again is continue to get smaller and smaller all of winery looks like outcast alpha have great position they're the only ones in winery uh with the biggest chunk of i don't want to say zone but of the, of the compound we got black sheep who have pushed up to execute looks like we got three members down for each team Wizard and Styles. Oh, let me get this up. I'm missing it. I don't think Styles is going to be able to get the res onto Twin. I think Twin is outside. out though black oh they got a third party to look like that is by the woo and here come trick and company they are definitely one of those teams that when they smell blood ooh, let me get that off the screen when they smell blood they come for it Trick with the nade, is he gonna get the knock and the kill? No, does not, unsuccessful. Uh, the zone shifts again, continue to get, now it's out in the open of winery, here comes Trick now. Execute goes out in 10th place at the hands of the Wu, who just got super aggressive there. And just as I come and spectate, I think the, the sound is a little bit uh, laggy. Give me one second. I think I know what to do. Turn this off, turn this back on. All right, looks like that did fix the uh, little bit of lag. We're down to eight teams. I didn't see how this happened, but uh, we do got two teams here. Team six, which is oh, Outcast Alpha, who are still stuck uh, in winery. Uh, it's not looking good for them because I don't, I don't know if they'll be able to get out safely. get eyes above ground they are gonna have a tough time rotating out that is for sure oh well they do have a vehicle looks like the team p noise do get out as well JY getting a knock on to Grim or finish that is uh Bibby and uh, LBJ Ron have pushed up onto winery. We have uh Bibi taking shots, Happy is down, Ketchup is up, Gambit Gaming as well joining this. I mean we got about three or four teams in winery with the zone. Just the zone is barely here. Uh looks like Gambit Gaming it looks like they have a couple players down. Uh, team 18 is going to get some nades in there. Do not get another knock or confirm. Steel is the last one up. Uh, one knock. Look, this finish. Gambit Gaming going out in fifth place. Zess is the only player. Actually, uh, LBJ Ryan is up as well. So we got the Wu. We got Fortune Esports. I just got taken out as I say that. So now we got the Wu Aerial Esports. Uh, the Wu Aerial Esports and Team P Noise Toxic. 
And the Wu, man, these guys are looking super strong tonight. Looking for their second win in a row. They already have position inside zone. A team that we haven't really mentioned too much tonight so far. Uh, Aerial Esports, they're up to 16 kills. Gonna have a tough time rotating into zone. Uh, as all I see is open space, not much cover here. And it looks like they also don't have any vehicles, so unless they got a ton of smokes, um, it looks like it's gonna be easy pickings for uh, the Actually, Viper has a vehicle. Like they're gonna try to pull that. Look at this cover by the Wii. Jonica gets a lot of Oh, Trick gets knocked up by vehicle explosion. Looks like from possibly Team. And look at this Team Pinoy's getting aggressive themselves. Come for a full four man push. Kurt's last man up for about 10% health, and the Wu go out in third place. Team Pinoy's toxic with the toxic plays, going for a full four man. Oh, what happened? Was that it? Team P Noise Toxic takes game two in Bakendi. I mean, that happened in the blink of an eye. All I heard was an AWM shot go off and somebody died. Uh, they take the chicken dinner with 11 kills. Aerial Esports in second with six kills. The Wu in third with seven, nine kills. So another strong game from the Wu. Um,. Man, they're trying to get that UC tonight. That's all I can see right now. Uh, and, and fourth place was Fortune Esports White. Uh, Team Pinoy's Azagni, if I'm not mistaken. And we had Gambit Gaming in six. Outcast Alpha. Mad Esports Shredded. Execute. Uh, Nameless Esports. Fortune Esports. Black Sheep. Me Seeks NVIDIA. Jupiter Esports Aurora. Euphoria, Be Wishes, EXP, Just for Fun, Valhalla, Sexy Squad, and Me Seeks Pride. That rounds off the bottom of the lobby. It looks like we're going to be heading to Miramar in just a few minutes. You guys stay tuned. I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes and we can do some more talking about what just happened in this last round. See you guys back in a second.
all right guys we're back in the lobby uh waiting for this these players to join uh, like so we're headed to my favorite map which is uh miramar seemed like you guys were really excited about that last game uh what do you guys think about that push from team p noise toxic as they um got one knock and uh went for the full send which honestly i was uh surprised that they went for the aggressive play um so yeah i mean that was a great play to be honest i said you don't normally see teams do that especially at the end circle but man they hit that full send button and uh we're able to take out uh, the Wu, but even though I mean, the Wu still finished in third place, so I mean, uh, with a decent amount of kills, uh, I think right now uh, they are they are sitting comfortably in first place. Um, it's gonna need a huge push from uh, Team P Noise Toxic, who did win the second game, to do something. So I said we'll just continue waiting for these teams to uh, join in. I do expect another uh, big lobby. Again, guys, while we are on a break. Um, again, we are sponsored by Galaxy Hound and HyperX. If you guys can see, got my HyperX quadcast mic. Got... Um, they were kind enough to send the casting team a care package. So I got HyperX Alloy RGB keyboard. Got the Pulse Fire Surge mouse. Uh, got myself a nice desk mat. Got the headset Cloud Mix. Oh, which way am I going to turn? You guys can see. Got a new headset. Uh, and because I do got this mic, now I got to have that little, you know, the little mic hanging from my face. Looks nice and clean. I'm not too sure if I'm really comfortable going with a wireless headset. These are set up for wireless as well. Uh, maybe I'll do that, you know, get rid of this wire. Um, I know there is probably some things that you could do. To, um, to make sure that there's no lag, latency, I guess is the word. But listen, uh, so I said, make sure you guys follow the uh, Twitter and Instagram as you see on the bottom left of the screen. Um, they, there's a giveaway going on for the keyboard, which is completely customizable to change the color. Um, so yes, and that that uh, Twitter post, the Gleamio or the website, there is a, a link to uh, enter the giveaway daily to get extra entries. I think it ends in a couple days, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you guys do that as well. We got, looks like we got four minutes till start time. Let's see. Make sure I let these guys know. guys make sure the room is all set
All right. Looks like we got some uh, congratulatory. Uh, I probably said that wrong. Um, going on in the chat on Trovo uh, between the Wu and the Team P Noise Toxic Squad that won the last game. I said it was a hell of a push. It was very smart. I mean, they got the knock. They know that Trick is probably one of the stronger players in the lobby. And they said, hey, listen, we got a knock on Trick. Let's go. Let's go for a full send. I am expecting some high paced action in the Miramar map as well. Uh, looks like we're headed for another 23, 24, actually 23 teams, 92 in the lobby so far. We got one minute till start time. We are good to go in a minute as soon as it hits the clock. Ninety one doesn't look like I got any hold ups on uh individuals. Yes, team the the team the P noise teams always show up. Um they are a great team to watch. Listen, I'm a supporter of all teams. You show up and you come and, you know, you uh, give some love to the uh, Me Seeks fam. I said, uh, I love to see action. So if you're an aggressive team, I'm always going to be looking out for you guys. So um, I said, I, I don't hate on anybody. I said, I am a supporter of everyone. Sorry guys. Catch a cramp, man. Pick up my leg from the seat. Oh, there we go. We're good. Now it looks like uh we just got messaged one of the players got kicked from the lobby. It looks like alright, he's back in. Listen, you guys are funny sometimes. You guys uh, crack me up. Looks like our sword 92 looks like we are ready to go. Uh, this is exciting, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, I am ready to go. Let's hit that start button. I know of no noise. Here we go. So let's get some predictions in the chat of who we think is going to win Miramar. Let's go look at the last team, Team 18, which is, no, sorry, Team 19. Who won the last game? See where they jump. I said we are a full lobby. 23 teams is the max amount of teams that we allow. Um, and every team looks like was a four man. So look at that. 23 teams, all four players, 92 man lobby. If you guys aren't excited about this, honestly, I don't know what'll get you excited. We are action packed and ready to go. And listen. This this plane path was made for this lobby. Straight down the middle. You cannot ask for a better plane path. Teams are going to jump to their preferred spots. I said, guys, this is I'm super excited for this one. Uh, let's see where Team 19, Team Pino is toxic, uh, is going to jump. couple teams jumping out early we should see a team or two in Trumacera definitely a team or two in Pozo 
definitely going to see some teams in Monte Nuevo. We know Black Sheep go Picado, so we're going to see if any team decides to join them. Uh, looks like Gambit Gaming is jumping in that direction, but we don't know yet. Uh, San Martin, which is my, my favorite jump spot. Probably going to see about four or five teams there. Hacienda. Like I said, this plane path uh, will allow all the teams to jump to their preferred landing spots. Or if they decide they just want to jump super hot, we'll see what happens. It's like Team 19 is going towards Minas. Looks like we got <laughs> both Fortune Esports teams in an engagement already. We're going to switch over to that. And it looks like we are in San Martin. We got Brick and Billboard occupied by both Fortune, Fortune Esports teams. Looks like we are lagged out. So we're going to have to switch to a different to a different team here until there we go we're good to go now uh, are we at the 50 view mark listen guys we gotta hold it over 50 if you don't hold over 50 there's no double double so let's see if we can hold it over 50 share the stream as much as possible we will greatly appreciate it honestly so i'm surprised that only two teams came to uh San Martin, Outcast Alpha do their normal uh, water treatment split. Team P Noise, Insignia isn't. Hacienda all to themselves. Aurora and EXP are going to occupy Leones just for fun, who normally do go to Leones. Looks like they didn't make the jump. Uh, we got Gambit Gaming and. The Wu and Valhalla. So we didn't see Black Sheep. Maybe Black Sheep decided that they didn't want to go too aggressive, seeing how they didn't place too well in the first two games. Let's see where did they go. And Trick, and a knock, and a thirst onto Thotty. Let's say Black Sheep went to La Bendita. Gosh, I gotta turn the music down a little bit. Jordan taking some shots onto two of the members from Gambit Gaming who are holding these little buildings outside of the arena here in Picado. Ooh, Jordan, listen, I don't know if it's a spectator glitch, but looks like Jordan had uh, Chapo's head <laughs> available to him. I uh, was not able to get the knock though. Safi getting knocked by Jonica. And Trick gets a thirst. Looks like Safi might have uh, overextended. Ooh, but Jonica gets knocked by Jordan with that car 98. Gets knocked by Jordan, and I think this is, might be the signal for Valhalla to make a push. Second nade comes in from Jordan, unsuccessful. Uh, Trick looks like he is gonna come over to try to get. Actually, looks like Trick pushes out, and Payne is not gonna make it. Maybe a smart play as he uh, Trick knew he would be outnumbered um, because they are separated from his team. Switch on over to Truma Sarah. Where exactly, we do have two teams. We have B Wishes who have lost Jiggy and uh, Rannick to the hands of uh, Sexy Squad. Here comes ESR Fish. Get a knock on to Poppy Rocket. So Demon is now the last player up. 
Uh, Demon has shown some gun skills, so uh, uh, he might be able to uh, do something here. Uh, it looks like it's probably... Yeah, it is a 1v4. It's got an Uzi and an SLR. Oh, Fish gets the finish. He did pre-nade that... Um, the stairs but was not able to get a, a knock there so Jay White going down early for Outcast Alpha and this is usually what uh, Outcast Alpha will do they will go to what they'll have their split loot and water treatment and then they will push Hacienda It looks like they went towards a drop, decided they're gonna push out. Trick looked like he get it, he get it, uh, got a knock onto Slimmy. A Slimmy and Jordan, so Trick getting two knocks with the M24. Oh, looks like he just missed the last uh, Julia crossing in that window. I, I have seen people pre-fire a shot uh, player going into an open window. Trick, not able to get the knock there. Julia has a level three helmet. Trick getting a knock onto Jordan. Listen, you guys do not want to peek Trick tonight. He's got this M24. He's doing absolute work right now. Onto Valhalla. And Black Sheet looks like they got this hill all to themselves. Actually, it looks like they're going towards the drop. And it's just outside of San Martin. And Team 19 looks like... No, it looks like they only lost one player. Outcast Alpha up to three kills. It looks like they took out uh, Team 20, which is Pinoy's and Zogni. Have a war run exp and leones looks like glitchy is uh just got a knock onto didn't see who that was onto skills it looks like yes aurora is down hendrix uh got luxuria glitchy and copy you up and skills can't copy you pull it off here 
Murderer and Rolex, uh, the last two are uh, two members up for EXP. Oh, copy you gets Murderer down to about 10 HP, not able to finish it off. Aurora go out in 22nd place. And surprised not too many teams in Pozo or in Monte Nuevo. Um, I honestly thought that would have been a, a hotter drop than that. Neither team for Valhalla or the Wu looks like they're just gonna stay for far apart. Um, happy to just um, take some bolt action shots. And Happy, who's the last member up for P Noise Azagni, looks like Outcast Alpha is possibly maybe trying to get some information. Brownie getting knocked by Senpai though. I think that's from Jupiter Esports. comes potato and i love you for jupiter esports who I haven't really mentioned too much tonight sarge with these six x sprays not able to get a knock though unsuccessful also taking shots getting third party from the last you know what happened and pulling up the map Looks like I might have missed the first two zone shifts, but the map uh, moving a little west. Uh, still Pozo covering a good portion of the zone. We got Power Grid, Picado, San Martin all still in zone in play. I love you and Potato have pushed up onto um, Hacienda. Euphoria looks like they take out three of the players from that. Skin gets a knock onto Tacos. Oh, but four against one, just a little too much for him there. Um, Mad go out in 21st place. We still got, even at this point, uh, we still have uh, 20 teams heading into the third zone. Both Fortune teams, looks like they've... Uh, are still in San Martin. We got Black Sheep right above them taking some shots. And just outside of Pozo, we got Me Seeks Pride. We got Beanhead on deck here uh, taking some shots onto Aerial Esports. Ashan11, thank you for the follow over on Trovo. Appreciate that. The support on the tro on the Galaxy Hound channel is support for me seeks. We appreciate you guys. All right, Aerials, Aerial Esports says they want no part of this. Are going to get out? Um, honestly, in that open area, is not really too smart. Looks like between Valhalla and the Wu, looks like we have a bolt action, a sniper battle, and Picado. Um, these teams are probably going to be sitting here for a while.
Third zone's closing in. And wow, a complete um, directional change. San, all the San Martin is still in play. So these Fortune Esports teams have no have no reason to leave currently. Uh, neither does Black Sheep. Black Sheep do have uh, great positioning right now. Leave the map up for a second so we can see where these teams decide to start rotating towards. Saucy Mins, thank you for dropping the 500 unicorns. We appreciate the love and support. Bob looks like he's a little bit pinned down from Team 18. The winners of the last game, Pinoy's uh, Toxic. Bibby here going for the uh, Jiggle Peak. Uh, had eyes on Jupiter Esports Senpai. Senpai does have an AWM. I knew I heard something in the background. Looks like he's gonna. As you guys all know, man, that AWM, even with a, a level 3 helmet or level 3 vest, can still put in some work. Oh, but gets taken out himself by Zess, who is also rocking an AWM. Just as he was getting ready to peek and take a shot, got taken out himself. Zess getting caught out in the open. No way. Oh my god. Zess, what are you doing? Somebody get a clip. Clip it. Went prone, lined up the shot, and got an, and Zess getting a knock on to Potato. Not sure if it's a smoke glitch, spectator glitch, or just um a lucky shot into the smoke, but uh, Zest doing some work with the AWM. Teams do need to start rotating into zone though. Looks like we got another team joining the party here in, uh, actually no, it looks like in Power Grid. Looks like Valhalla finally uh, moved their way out of Picado. We got Meeseeks, NVIDIA. Looks like it is just Jordan and Julia. And power grid. gonna prioritize two teams here listen we got lots of action going on and it's hard just to stick to one team so i'm gonna leave this up for a little bit um have eyes on two different fights going on we got black sheep uh and euphoria and we have me seeks nvidia and the last two members for uh valhalla Prince and Goon going back and forth with the car 98. Can one of them get the knock onto the other? Looks like we also have the Wu who are pushing up on behind. We're going to switch back. Trick and company have also Team 19. Um, this uh, bottom portion of the zone is going to start getting super hot. 
and Breezy getting knocked. Uh, I'm not sure who got the credit for that. Trick gets the credit for that knock. Baby getting some smokes down. And the zone shifts again. We are in the uh, fourth zone. And still got San Martin pretty uh half of San Martin in zone still. Let's switch on over to San Martin where we have an uh Jupiter Esports who have joined the party as well in San Martin where some of these where both Fortune Esports teams haven't had a need to leave yet. Does get the knock on Shia to Senpai. He gets the thirst. And the zone just um, outstretched of the corner of San Martin still a small portion in but the zone is going to be prioritized towards the center where there's uh really no cover it's all mountaintop I think right now black black sheep no they're out of zone as well so youth uh euphoria have pushed up and it looks like styles may be the last one and uh black sheep have just not have had a good night uh, tonight still got 14 teams Oh, as I say that, 13 teams now. Do got a couple teams in zone, but not too many. Senpai pushes up onto the roof. Gets a knock onto Nasty. Gets the thirst as well. And that leaves a Yoshi as the last member up for Fortune Esports. It looks like he's going to prioritize trying to get into zone. Execute esports. Looks like they may have the only compound in zone. Have a, a hack getting knocked by one of the members from aerial esports. Zone is starting to close in again. Esports in a fight with Shreddy here have located. Oh, and Broda gets third party. Looks like by Sarge. Sarge is the last one up for Outcast Alpha. And he's up to six kills on his own. Total of 18 kills. Oh, gets a tire taken out still. I mean, this, these buggies still have a chance to... Uh... And <laughs> Sarge switches buggies. Gonna switch a vehicle again and Sarge is playing... Uh... <laughs> uh, Merry-go-round with these vehicles. Seventeen, sorry, seven teams left now. Uh, we got Execute, we got Fortune Esports White, uh, Jupiter Esports, Euphoria, 
Outcast Alpha, Team Pinoy's Azagni. Happy getting a knock and a finish onto Owns and Star Lord with the mini. Now down to five teams. We got Me Seeks Nvidia, who is a three man squad right now. And Me Seeks Nvidia are looking to take three, but Michael, who's peeking the window, gets a knock onto the next uh, get an explosion onto the vehicle, not able to get a knock off of that though. Potato gets finished, now down to four teams. Zone is closing in again, and looks like Execute might be the only team in zone right now. I'm not sure if Mystics and Nvidia have a vehicle, but they're gonna have to lay some smokes and get into zone um, as soon as possible because Execute, like I said. Uh, do have this building that is in zone and are going to be able to peek. And Sarge, staying strong, now has seven kills. Looks like he's in zone too. So let's see if Sarge can pull off this nice clutch. What a way to end the Miramar if Sarge as a solo uh, is able to pull this off. Mexican gets knocked, took some damage from Sarge, did get knocked by Wick though. Sarge getting a knock onto T-Max, Bruce Lux is the last one up. Fifteen seconds till the zone starts to close again. Now it's still got four teams up, T-Max gets finished by Wick with a nade. Euphoria needs to prioritize right now and get into zone, so they're going to start pushing over. Um, Wick and Wizard are still holding this building. Oh, Bruce Lux is not going to make it. Still got three teams left. Sarge is still doing work. This man is getting ready to absolutely clutch it for his team. It is a 2v2v1. Euphoria look like they are going to take out either Euphoria or Execute will take each other out. Leaving Sarge. Sarge is going to wait. He actually might be able to make it into zone to be honest. Sarge getting a knock on to Wick. Here comes Sarge with the push. Wizard is the last man up. Is down to about 10% health. Dies to zone. Looks like we're going to have a 1v1 between Snebby and Sarge. Is Sarge going to pull it off? Here we go. And Sarge pulls it off. Oh my god. Sarge with the absolute clutch for Outcast Alpha. Nine kills to his name. Sarge went absolutely off. GG's to Outcast Alpha. Sarge able to outlast everyone took that 1v1 it was a great play by snebby but sarge was ready that's all i could say man what a what a game 11 kills sarge like i said man able to survive that i mean i called it that would be absolutely a way to cap off miramar in second place is euphoria with 11 kills as well and third is Execute with five. We have Me Seeks NVIDIA, Jupiter Esports, Team P Noise, Izagnia, Fortune Esports, Fortune Esports, no, sorry, Fortune Esports White, then Fortune Esports, Shredded, Black Sheep, Aerial Esports, Just for Fun, Valhalla, Me, uh, Me Seeks Pride, Me Seeks 
I mean, sorry, Team Pinoy's Toxic, The Woo, Sexy Squad, EXP, Gambit Gaming, Nameless Esports, Mad Esports, Aurora, and B Wishes to round off the map. Guys, I mean, what an absolute game. I'm still in shock. I can't believe Sarge pulled that off. But listen, guys, we're going to take a short break. I'll be back with the lobby screen. Going to head over to St. Hawk to end the night. You guys already know. We'll be waiting to see who drops boot camp. See you guys back in a second.
All right, guys, we are back uh, waiting for the rest of the players to join. Now we got six minutes left till start time. So listen, man, let's talk about Outcast Alpha Sarge. The man is absolutely goaded. Cannot believe that he was able to pull that off. I mean, I was super excited. I hope somebody got a clip of that. If not, I got you guys. I will make a clip, post it on uh, Twitter and Instagram. You guys can see the bottom left hand of the screen at me seeks mobile gold. Make sure you guys follow. Again, we are doing HyperX giveaways. Up for grabs at the moment is a HyperX Alloy FPS RGB keyboard mechanical. And all you gotta do is follow the Twitter. Follow the Instagram, follow HyperX, visit the YouTube page, visit the website. Listen, there's just tons of opportunities for entries. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. This is absolutely free. All you have to do is just enter, man. You guys can win a, a keyboard. So we got other stuff going on. I'm not going to say what are the other items that we will be having for giveaways, but just know that there are tons of HyperX giveaways. Also, shout out to Galaxy Hound as they are sponsoring this stream as well. So if you guys show love to Galaxy, to, if you guys show love to me seeks, it's showing love to Galaxy Hound and vice versa. Showing love in the chat and the Galaxy Hound chat is showing love to me seeks as well we appreciate everybody who's stopping out tonight listen we are on our last map last match tonight we're going to San Hawk. hope to see you guys at boot camp looks like we got some friendly banter in the discord scrim chat listen the woo listen they want that uc tonight so I uh, wonder how they're going to play, if they're going to drop differently. Uh, I know we do normally have about four or five teams who drop in boot camp. A little, little some friendly jabs, you know. Not too crazy. Listen, we love the competition, so, you know. As long as you keep it respectful and professional, listen, trash talk as much as you want. At least that's how I feel about it, you know what I'm saying?
Uh, how's the music, guys? The music still still rocking pretty good. I know we've been having some issues lately working on some uh, technical difficulties. If the music is still good to go, I will uh, leave it alone. We got three minutes left till start time. <laughs> Listen, the password to the room had to be what it had to be. There's just absolutely no way that I didn't make the password to the room what I made it. Listen, Sarge is OP. Nine kills. We are at 85 people. So far, so you know this lobby is going to be sweaty as well. I just want to see how many teams are going to drop. That's all I really want to see. And then, you know, oddly enough, uh, there's usually one team that drops in Paradise. We'll have four or five teams drop boot camp. Might have two, three teams drop in Painan. And then the rest are spread out between, you know, Camp Bravo, Alpha. Um, I forgot what the other hotspot is. Oh, the docks. Usually a hotspot. Looks like we're getting close to a 90-man lobby as well. One more minute, guys, and we will start up. I think we are almost ready to go. Bruce Lux, thank you for joining the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that follow button. Support the stream, support Galaxy Hound, support me, Seeks. Support you guys, because you guys are the ones that make this possible. Without you guys, we won't have a scrim. So, we appreciate all the players who put in the time to give it their best. Alright, looks like we are ready to start. Teams are ready to go. We are 88 players. Alright, let's get some predictions in the chat. Who we think is going to win the last round So the winners of the last game, Sarge, absolutely OP. Um, this man went off. So we'll see. I think if I don't, I'm not sure where Outcast Alpha drops, but we're at 88 teams. I think we're at the 20. So I'm oh, sorry, 88 teams, 88 players, 23 teams. So a full uh, lobby of teams again. Dev does thank you for joining the channel trovo if you guys ha if you haven't already make sure you hit that follow button so let's get some predictions so we had the Wu take game one team pinoy's toxic take game two and outcast alpha in game three So the map, I don't know, I'm going to talk about the plane path because uh, San Hawk is a small map so you can pretty much jump wherever you want. So we're just going to wait to see who goes to boot camp. That's what we want to know. We want to see all the action at boot camp. Outcast Alpha looks like they are jumping towards Lakawi 
And as soon as we get a chance to switch over to boot camp, we will. Looks like we... Nobody? What? No way. Just one team at boot camp. Looks like a lot of teams though, man. They're, they're close to winning some, uh, some UC. Posse playing a little safer than normal. You hate to see it, but... I said UC is on the line. Looks like we did have about two, two or three. So we have Valhalla. Oh, wrong screen. Oops. Whoopsie. We have Valhalla and looks like Jupiter Esports and a boot camp. So Slimmy getting knocked. Safi almost getting the knock onto Dylan. It's gonna get the res onto Slimmy. Jordan looks like he's coming over from the warehouse. Surprisingly, only two teams in boot camp, to be honest. Take a look at the rest of the map. We have Euphoria up north along with Shredded. Outcast Alpha take the Kali by themselves. We do got a couple teams in the docks. Looks like the Wu is getting some work in. Uh, the Wu take out. Gambit Gaming in Paradise super early. Uh, Gambit Gaming going out in 23rd place. That's a big fat rip for that team. We have B Wishes and Team Mad Esports and the Docks. Let's see, might I switch over in a second to that team. Voodoo, uh, Outcast Alpha won game three. All right, let's switch over to uh, the teams down here at the docks. We got Gabby, who's been in the chat all night, finally joining the action. Take him some shots with that, uh... With the barrel not able to get a knock though onto and right. Looks like and right is the last one up as Ghost is knocked. I don't think to pick him up. Nope, Ghost gets finished and right looks like he might be getting out of there or maybe just repositioning. Have Euphoria and Shredded. We have Taha 2K currently knocked. Uh, Prince knocked for Euphoria. Mad Esports go on 21st, 21st place as I see them get taken out by B Wishes. One team in high team, two teams camp out behind them. And we have the Woo, Woo baby girl, getting knocked by Mexican. So we have Me Seeks Nvidia. Oh, Zebra gets a knock onto Pain. He's gonna get the finish. Trick gets knocked by Bruce Lux. And Jonica is the last player up for the Wu. And the Wu are gonna looks like they're gonna go out super early today. Uh not good for them as they, they possibly were in first place. And if they don't end up with a strong finish, depending on who wins this last game. Um, oh, that's it. They go in 20th place. That is a huge, huge, huge. I don't know what the word for it is. 
It's just not good. That's not good for them. It's not good for the overall placement. They got 20th place. They did have a couple kills, but still got like three or four teams in Pinan. Let's head over to Pinan, catch some of this action. I might have to uh, get some eyes in the air. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to catch all this action here in Pinan. We got uh, Fortune Esports, White, Execute, Fortune E, the other Fortune Esports, Me Seeks Pride. Oh, Atari gets knocked, and that leaves. At least Batman is the last one up. Gets the res onto B head. B head gets knocked. Batman and Misi's pride go out just like that to Fortune Esports. Looks like Sexy Squad goes out and seven place Victoria. Oh, Hacks gets knocked. So uh, building and execute esports go out in 16th place. Nameless esports third party in this fight. Scarlord is going to get finished. At least uh, Fang as the last one up for his team. Fang gets a knock on to shot ya. Just a little too exposed in that uh, doorway with the window behind him. Almost gets finished off. We got two teams fighting for a drop here. We have Black Sheep. It looks like Fang gets taken out just as I switch over. They uh Fortune Esports White goes out the 14th place. We got two teams fighting for a drop here. We have Black Sheep and Me Seeks Nvidia. Zebra <laughs> deciding to go for the aggressive plays does not go for the heal. Oh man, we don't want to see that on stream. Go for the punch out. Twin is the last one up for Black Sheep. And it is not looking good right now for them. Oh, Twin put up a valiant effort, but was not able to pull off the clutch here. Did get a knock on to Zebra. GG to Black Sheep. They go on 13th place, and these teams are starting to drop. And here comes Valhalla. Possibly looking for a third party. Oh, I didn't realize that I did that. Slimmy, who likes to rock this VSS, looking for a knock. Zone. The zone is closing though. Let's see if Slim is able to get a knock with his VSS. He fires the window, almost gets the knock though. Did take a couple of shots himself. So the zone shifts a little northwest. Um, the, uh, I think a couple weeks ago we did have a zone towards the water. Looks like we're headed towards another one of those zones. Oh man, keep forgetting. Sorry.
sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to do something here. Looks like me seeks Nvidia may be looking to uh, rotate out. Bruce Luck still taking damage as Slimmy is pre-firing that window. Looks like they may try to get a rotation, but let's go over to Paradise where we got Outcast Alpha. SARS, the absolute MVP of the last game. Gets one knock. Almost gets knocked himself. Gets knocked in time. Tacos knocked, C jumps over, gets knocked by Snevy, and Brown is the last one up, and they get finished. Outcast Alpha going out in 12th place to Euphoria, not able to finish off the last two guys. Prince held an angle and uh just this took absolutely took him out from there. Looks like the rotation for me seeks and video worked just a little bit as they're able to get a knock out to Jordan, but um, just uh, being just a little too exposed out in the field, I don't think that they're gonna go. Uh, not not gonna be a smart play for them to uh, expose themselves. And they do have aerial esports who might be rotating right into them, so we're gonna have a three-way fight here. Also, Team Twenty, Team P Noise, Azagnia, not too far out of the distance as well. Do have zone that is closing and again we are headed into the fourth zone Getting a knock and a finish onto Tunita. Got a couple teams south of the zone right now who are just out and need to uh, get in. But we're going to possibly Team 19 who's going to be looking to third party this. Oh, ho if Breezy hits this game. Almost close. Gets a knock onto Shotya. Uh, I think Nasty might be the last player up. Yeah, Nasty's the last player up. He's just going to worry about getting into zone. Just for fun, listen, are they going to play the island? I mean, it wouldn't be a bad move, to be honest. I didn't realize this island had a, a building, but I mean... The way the zone is looking right now, actually, it just looks like just a little shack. Or two little sh uh, huts, sorry. Um, might not be a bad play, to be honest. Might actually work in their favor, but they are going to be taking some shots from EXP. The zone continues to get smaller and smaller. Look at that zone. Absolutely toxic is what I would say this zone is. Probably one of my least favorite things about TV. Oh man, be not able to get a knock. I mean, it doesn't always work in your favor, but Siphon, uh, able to get a return knock, almost gets knocked himself, gets a finish, so evens the odds three players each for each team that is Aerial Esports and Pinoy's Azakni. Poppy Rock is the last man up. Gonna be walking, running right into this fight. Oh, his guy's eyes on Oh, Poppy Rock, you better be careful. He doesn't get knocked himself. Oh, 
old Bright had a feeling he was going to be there pre peaked him and was able to get the knock there. But here's me seeks Nvidia uh, who are going to keep this team. And just like that, we're down to nine teams, guys, with the zone going out into the open. We have uh, Euphoria who have pushed up onto the uh, backside. Prince gets knocked. Murderer knocked. Rolex knocked. Brizo is the last one up. Can't Brizo pull it off? He has no helmet. Probably has a damage load. Gets one knock on the taco. Realizes he's probably not going to survive. Gets the thirst. And just for fun, I mean, look at that zone. Just for fun is the only team. Just for fun. They are about to have some fun, that's for sure. What an absolute toxic zone, guys. I cannot believe it. Bahal and Pino is toxic, who were the winners of game two in Vikendi. Get a knock on at Thurston Jordan. Knock out to Slimmy. Julia Clown Safi pushing in from zone. LBJ Ron's going to hold this position behind the rock. Peaks and fires. Peaks and fires again. But Team 19 goes out in fifth place. Safi not going to make it. I don't think that edge of the of that cliff is in zone. And for me, Seeks Nvidia, their best hope is that the zone uh, stays on land. What an absolute toxic zone. Safi is still alive though, swimming in the water. Barely makes it. And look at that. So this is, I mean, it's not even fair. This is absolutely not fair for the rest of the lobby. Big brain plays. And taking the small island with the two huts. So Zebra quietly able to make the swim over. Might give his team a chance uh, to get over into zone. Looks like the rest of Meeseeks and Vidi are going to be able to. It, oh yeah, they're, they're already making the swim. So Zebra is already on the island. So it's... It's going to end up being uh, Me Seeks NVIDIA versus Just For Fun. Rusla getting a knock on uh, let's pull this up. Let's see the perspective from both teams. Hacks gets knocked, uh, leaving uh, Cynics as the last one up. Oh, gets a knock onto Mr. Zebra. And gets finished. Meeseeks NVIDIA now in a great spot to take a second game. Unless Safi does something here. You never know. Listen, we've seen Sarge clutch it up last game. Uh, nothing at this moment surprises me, to be honest. Safi uh, surprisingly able to make it. Oh, but here comes Mexican and takes her out. GG's. Meeseeks NVIDIA. Actually, no, Mises even did not win a game. I'm sorry. I apologize. They did not take a game. But they take the last round in Sandhawk uh, with, let's see, 10, 14, 16 kills. GG's to Mises and Video for taking the last map. What an absolute zone. Absolutely toxic. I'm abs I was almost positive that Just for Fun was going to win that game. Um, Valhalla. Thanks to Safi, able to survive and make it to second place. A total of nine team kills. Just for fun, big rip to them. They had the zone. Uh, seven kills and a third place finish. Uh, we have Euphoria in fourth. 
team P Noise, Toxic, and Fifth. Nameless Esports, EXP, Aerial Esports, Team P Noise, Azagnia, Fortune Esports, B Wishes, Outcast Alpha, Black Sheep, Fortune Esports, White Aurora, Execute, Shredded, Me Seeks Pride, Sexy Squad, The Woo, Mad Esports, Jupiter Esports, and Gambit Gaming. Guys, what a night! We appreciate all you guys stopping out, stopping out, stopping by the channel. Give me one second, guys. Um, I said we appreciate everybody who stopped at the chat. Hopefully, we hit that 50 viewer average. We won't know until the stream is over and we get those analytics. And if we did average over 50, you guys already know, we'll double the UC. That would be 240 UC to the to the winning team and to the top fragger. Interesting to see what the results are going to be tomorrow. Honestly, I can't say. I know who's in first place. We had four different winners. We had the Wu in game one. Absolutely killed them with 18 kills. We had Team Pinoy Toxic take game two. Game three was Outcast Alpha Sarge. Just absolutely pulled off one of the greatest clutches I've probably seen on stream taking game three and me see some video taking game four um give me one second <sighs> um again thank you to our sponsors hyper x as you guys can see geared out uh appreciate also uh thank you to our sponsor galaxy hound for allowing us to stream on their channel and provide you guys with you see on a consistent basis week to week basis tomorrow night we will have voodoo streaming fpp uh we'll see you guys tomorrow night i'll be back on next friday love you guys appreciate the support um ggs man that's it have a good night about to put the end screen up put the music up and we'll see you guys tomorrow night <laughs>